So yo, it's the go to the game, hip hop game, a hot 97, big D in the building. Hey. Alright, so two questions right now. Um, two things. With the level design, right, and yeah. where AI is going, um, how can AI assist you with what the workflow of the level design that you did, not just with the flame, but just with Marvel Spider-Man 2 overall? Yeah, that's a great question. And I, I agree, AI is strict I would say strictly a support tool. And I think um, a lot of what we were using in Houdini not ne is not necessarily AI because we still have to um, uh, input stuff into it. But I think uh, procedural type work is, is going to be what uh, is going to support us. What we like to have is uh, a system that kind of spits out uh, a level layout, uh, something that we can kind of start with. But from there, we can kind of build off of it. I think that would be a, a, a huge help that we can uh, benefit from from AI. Got you. Yeah. That's amazing. That and, and the last question is, yeah. with your experience, you know, working with PlayStation 5 and just technology, period, I'm also a partner with AMD. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. my question to you is, what would it take to get a game like Marvel Spider-Man 2 running at like 4K, 120, Ray oh, wow. tracing, all that. What would it take, based on your oh, experience working with PS5, what would it take? What bump is needed to get it to that level? Because that's what the fans want. Yeah, I know. Um, and you know, Spider Man 2 is going to eventually come to P uh, PC. That, that's the thing. And I feel like uh, consoles are probably, you, know, you can only get so far with them. PS5 is, is pretty good. Uh, as it stands, uh, I know that PS6 is coming eventually. I'd imagine. Uh, this is my speculation. <laughs> uh, but I, yeah, I would say anything. I mean, PC is really going to be the thing that gets us to the 4K at 120. Um, it's hard. I, I'm not. I'm not the most equipped to answer this question, to be honest. We have a really smart team of core engineers who, who are constantly developing our tools. And uh, I think we're gonna we'll get there eventually, but um, yeah, we're st we still have a lot of work to do. Gotcha. So, well, I, I can't wait. Helps. I play it all. I can't wait for Wolverine, you, baby. Yes. Let's go, Wolverine. Awesome. Good. All right, God bless, man. Hip hop gamer Donald is crazy. I be out of here. One peace. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's hip hop gamer Hot 97. I'm with legends. I'm with legends right here. This is incredible. All right, real quick, can you state your name again? Jonathan Garrett. I, yo, this is Jonathan and Samiak. So the other question that I had was, there's been you know um, rumors about uh, a PlayStation 5 Pro coming. So my question is, with the technology that y'all been able to target and find and figure out to make this game run great, is it possible for this game to run at 120 frames per second consistently with what y'all been able to develop um, on like a PlayStation 5 Pro, considering it's supposed to be more powerful? I'm not sure. If not. Um, we're not in a position to talk about anything apart from PlayStation 5. Got it. Okay, no problem. And then the second question is, um, the animations between Spider-Man and Venom and stuff like that, did y'all run into any uh, issues considering the, the difference in build and the difference in animation? How was y'all able to get Spider-Man and Venom to operate so differently when the symbiotes was on them? Uh, I think they would just have custom animations, like different people animating for Venom and different people animating for the skeleton that was driving Spider-Man. So that the unique things animated independently. Oh, that's crazy. So based on the skeleton that was uh, drawn up for each character, it operates independently of each skeleton that's made. Yeah. Wow, yo, that's crazy. Right, yo, you heard it from him first? It's crazy. It's Hip Hop Game of Hot 97. God bless you and thank you so much, man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? It's the go to the game, hip hop game, a hot 97 Logitech G A M D. And don't forget to get that pledge. And you see right now, Insomniac Games. You saw what just happened, you know what I mean? Just got back from GDC. There's so much more I'm gonna share with y'all, but I just wanted to add on a little bit to what you just saw in this video, you know what I'm saying? So, just to add a little bit, is Wolverine. AI upscaling technology is going to be a game changer for real. Why? Because the level of detail you're going to see in the game procedurally in terms of actually the level design. When you see that, you're going to lose your mind. Like everything you see on Wolverine, you're going to lose your mind. Now, I'm not sure if y'all just seen Marvel 1943 with Captain America and Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? And everything you saw there was real time running on that Unreal Engine 5. It's crazy. Shout out to Amy Henning. You already know what it is. 
Just know that Wolverine, like I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about when we talk about the AI upscaling that I'm referring to. So let's say you either take a picture, take a picture or you go somewhere, you visit a place and you capture all that data. Once that joint is in the engine, they can take that, upscale it, and make it truly look like what they want it to look like. But the crazy thing about it is they could take one area and then it naturally starts procedurally generating new areas at that same level of detail and fidelity at no cost to performance. It's about to be real crazy. Wolverine? <sighs> Something special. Special. Wait till you see the level of detail, dismemberment, all of that. Wolverine is different. It's different. Wait till you see it. It's crazy. It's like, they just wait. Just wait. Now, the next thing I want to tell y'all is, and this is kind of a no-brainer, but I got some extra detail to it. So AI will be more efficient by the time PlayStation 6 um, comes out but the main reason why and amd will tell you this too but the main reason why is because the hardware is going to be the hardware is designed more so to handle the new software that's being created for game development overall so those that's paying attention to gdc and what unreal engine just showed off and unity and like a lot of a lot of these engines and what they're doing you're starting to see little fragments of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Little crumbs of that. But in the next two and two and a half years, it's, it's over. It's over. It's done. Because they're going to be able to capture detail, like, so realistic in real time. But they're gonna all, it's going to all be generated through AI. But when you have the hardware and the software married and connected together, then the performance of everything uh, cohesively is going to uh, be the game changer that you're going to see and now finally get a chance to experience and play. So that right there is crazy. Then the other thing I would say, and i just leave it at this. There's so much more I'm going to tell y'all, but that's going to be in other videos and stuff like that. But what I will tell you is that AI imported animations is things that you're going to have to pay attention to. Even Unreal Engine has, sh has shown um, what this could look like and what this could be in terms of what they're building in Unreal Engine 5.4. But one thing I want to say is think about this. With NBA 2K, right? With NBA 2K, how you have pro play where they taking literally what you see on live TV and putting it in the game. That concept times that by a thousand. Like the stuff and the calculations that they're doing right now when it comes to animations. I want to put it to you like this, right? This is just an example imagine you watching a movie like it could be any movie you know what i'm saying let's say you watching um you know uh, uh the wolverine movie x-men you know tv show whatever it is you can literally take the animations from stuff that you watch you know star wars and all types of stuff you can literally watch something you're watching it take the data from the video that you're watching and use it and import it as in-game animations. So literally what you're playing is coming from something that you watched. And you can fine-tune it to make it even better from a gaming standpoint as opposed to what you just watched visually from a TV show or a movie. So think about action scenes. Think about a lot of action scenes that you've seen in some of the dopest movies that you watch. Now you can play it out in real time, in video games, and it'll be better when you play it out. That's how breathtaking this stuff is. See, before we've seen a lot of these things from a standpoint of you're looking at a cutscene, So you're just able to watch it. Now you can play out those animations and, and things that, of that nature that we used to just sit back and watch before the gameplay actually started. It's over. Like, all of these, like, LLMs, meaning, like, large language models, for those that may not know, but the LLMs, all the stuff that I've seen at GDC, like, even the, the behind-the-scenes stuff, yo, gaming is different. Get ready. 
Um, PS5 Pro is coming. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's like after getting information around what the PlayStation 6 is going to be like in the next you know, like four to five years, just the future of games and game development and where they want to take things over the next, you know, decade. Get ready, man. Like gaming is really about to blow y'all away, something different. And Marvel 1943, that game right there is going to be one of those staples that's going to make everybody question what games can do and become after you experience Marvel 1943. And one thing I want to add to that, Grand Theft Auto 6. Yep, that's another one. Stay tuned, man. You already know what it is. It's the go to the game, hip-hop gamer on your hot 9-7 every day. That's my word. Let's get it, baby. Peace.